So Mattel just released this new line called Movie Moments. Now to us old time collectors, two packs were known as Movie Moments because you're essentially taking a moment from the movie and releasing the two cars shown in that scene. But now Mattel is doing something completely different with the Movie Moments title. I like to think of these as cars with accessories. Now, not all of them will be piston cut racers with pit stop barriers. However, from all of the ones that have been announced so far, it seems like they'll all be piston cut related. So here's the first ones that will be released. We have Rusty Corn Fuel, aka Toe Cap, with a pit stop barrier. Slider Petrowski, aka Sidewall Shine, with a pit stop barrier. Dirksen Diagostino, aka Trunk Fresh, with a pit stop barrier. Lightning McQueen, with a pit stop barrier. And last but not least, is Dexter Hoover, with safety cones. So that's your first example of a non piston cut racer with an accessory that's not a pit stop barrier. Now there will be a few more in the future, such as the King, Chick Hicks, Gaskets, Marlin Clutches McKay, and Charlie Checker. Now in my opinion, I feel like the three piston cut racers I just mentioned will have pit stop barriers, but Marlin and Charlie will definitely not. They may have safety cones again, or they might have a different accessory unique to themselves. Now, the ones I just named off, I'm not sure how many will be in the case. There probably will be more of Lightning McQueen and Dexter Hoover than the other Piston Cut Racers. I feel like Trunk Fresh and Toe Cap will be the hardest ones to get because they're the most desirable Piston Cut Racers out of all the ones in the case. Now, I personally bought Darren Leadfoot with Pit Stop Barrier off Amazon for $4.99 as an add-on item. And surprisingly, it arrived within 24 hours of purchase. And as you can see, I bought two of them, one to open up and one to keep in the package. So that was amazing. Now, something that wasn't so amazing is that I also bought Lightning McQueen with Pit Stop Barrier off Amazon for, again, $4.99 as an add-on item about two weeks ago, and it still hasn't arrived. It has been shipped. It was expected to be delivered about a week ago, and it still hasn't arrived. I have no clue what happened to it. Very disappointed because I wanted to review him along with Darren Leadfoot. But unfortunately, Darren Leadfoot will be the main star in this video. I'll definitely review Lightning McQueen in a future video. Now, you also may be wondering, what about the other ones that you mentioned? Well, unfortunately, those are only available through third-party sellers on Amazon or some sellers on eBay. They haven't come in stock directly from Amazon for $4.99 as an add-on item yet, but I assume they'll be coming in stock soon. I have no clue why they didn't all come in stock at once. It was pretty disappointing that Lightning McQueen came in stock like two weeks ago. Shiny Wax here came in stock about a few days ago, so it seems like they're listing these all individually, which is very, very unfortunate because they're add-on items, which means that you have to have $25 of other stuff that's eligible for you to be able to buy the add-on item. Oh, they really get you with these cars. It's such a good price, like store price, but they're add-on items. Now, I bet the last thing that you're wondering is, will I be able to find this in a store? Well, from what I've heard, these are Amazon exclusives and they'll also be sold from online distributors such as Get Me Collectibles. They also may show up at Toys R Us stores, but that's completely speculation. There's no confirmation yet. I really do hope that they show up at least some stores because it may be a little difficult to get all of these from Amazon. So hopefully they show up at Toys R Us, but they may not. Now when I have this alone in the camera view, it looks like the same size as a regular single, right guys? 
Well, they're actually a little bit wider than regular singles. As you can see, the blister is just a little bit wider, making the card back wider as well. Very interesting. I'm glad that they decided to change it up a little bit. Now let's take a look at Darren Ledfoot's packaging alone. We have the new Movie Moments logo there down below. It says Darren Ledfoot with Pit Stop Barrier, which is this thing right here. Got some pretty nice art of Darren himself, AK Shiny Wax number 82. There is a choking hazard because this is a choking hazard right here. I'm glad that they tucked the Cars Daredevil Garage app logo up in the corner. It's not that noticeable, but it's unfortunate that it's there. Now, I absolutely love the background. As you can see, it's the Los Angeles International Speedway Pit Row. We can see Chick Hicks over here, and of course, Team Lightning McQueen right front and center. Now, for some of these Piston Cup racers, it doesn't make sense because they didn't appear at this race. I feel like maybe the Motor Speedway of the South will make a better background, but they did put that on the card back here. As you can see, the entire pit row. These are the pit stop barriers, so they're releasing these. Pretty cool. I've seen a bunch of customs of them. They're not too hard to make, but it's always nice to have a real, legit thing made by Mattel. We got Movie Moments, recreate your favorite moments from the exciting Piston Cut race. We can see Chick Hicks right there, Nitroate, Easy Idol, and in the background it looks like Rev and Go. I'm not going to even talk about that because you guys know that it's absolutely terrible. Come on, Mattel, please remove it. It's got to be soon. Hopefully Cars 3 is completely purged by then because I honestly hate this app. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. Darren Leadfoot, aka Shiny Wax, was originally released in the Motor Speedway of the South set that included all 36 racers, but unfortunately was only available to Redline Club members. He was then released for the first ever Kmart Collectors event. This was before they did rubber tires. They were just releasing some new piston cut racers. This was in 2008. Like I said, the first ever K-Day, so that's pretty cool. He also received some other releases along the way, like that launcher back there, and in a three-pack with his Pity and Crew Chief. And in 2010, he received a rubber tire release. Very, very nice. And his most recent release, besides the Movie Moments release, was in 2014 in the Piston Cup series. Time for my favorite part of the video, opening time! Darren's bio in the Meet the Cars book reads, Darren Leadfoot is the last guy you want drafting you on the final turn. Known for suddenly speeding up at the end of the race, Darren is the one car who won't let anything or anyone stand between him and the finish line. That's probably one of the shortest bios I've ever read, and it only talks about one point, which is him being fast at the end of the race. Kind of unfortunate, I don't know why they decided to give him the short end of the stick, but oh well, he's still a pretty cool character. Now, I won't spend too much time on Darren himself because I already reviewed him in my Team Shiny Wax video. If you'd like to check out that review, the link will be down in the description below. But I do want to talk about this new variation, which is the flat eye variation compared to the original raised eye variation. Now, I believe in his 2014 release, he had flat eyes just like this one here, but since I don't have the 2014 release on hand, I cannot tell you guys for sure, but I'm pretty confident because No Stall, who was also released that year, has flat eyes. Now, if you guys don't know, flat eyes means that there is no depth going across the eyes right there, whereas on the original release and a lot of the older releases going to about 2013, he had depth between the eye space and the eyelid right there. You can kind of see it on the camera. You can see how my finger kind of juts up because there's depth right there. They did that to cut costs, but to me, it's not really a big deal. And it kind of looks cleaner if you ask me. You can see that Darren looks a little bit 
fresher. I don't really know how to explain it, but I kind of like the flat eye variants on some of the racers. And you can also see that there's a little bit of a color variation in the front here. It's a little bit darker green, then it goes to this yellowish green for the rest of the body. And on this one here, it's just a little bit different. I just wanted to point that out. It's nothing major, but I just wanted to point out that there is a little bit of a color variation. He does have the shiny wax logo there on the hood with the circular formation. Very, very cool. Black rims with light gear tires. Here are a bunch of other sponsors that he has. Piston Cup, Nitroway, Mood Springs, No Stall, Gaskets, Gasprin, Easy Idle, RPM, and a bunch of others. He's number 82, obviously. Another Shiny Wax logo. We have a horizontal logo for Shiny Wax versus the circular one. And on the back here, we just see Shiny Wax again. No slogan for him, unfortunately. Here's the base. Unfortunately, nowadays, the bases are quite clogged with Made in China, Disney, Pixar, a date stamp. Another code, Mattel, and then some more information right there. So not a big fan of that. Here's the base on the original. As you can see, much cleaner. Only date stamp there. And Disney Pixar China. You can see how much more they've added to it. I don't know why, but it's not the best thing in the world in my opinion. Now let's talk about the thing that makes this car worthy for a totally new review. The pit stop barrier. As you can see, it's got shiny wax with the circle rings going around it. Very, very nice. It is hollow on the inside right there, and it's not a complete rectangle. As you can see, it's slanted right there, so it stands up a little bit better. It stands up perfectly, no problems at all. Very, very cool, and looks just like he was in the movie. Like it said, you can recreate your favorite scenes, and actually, some of my favorite scenes were at the pit row, so it's pretty cool. I'm glad that they're releasing these. It's only a dollar more than the original release. I know a lot of collectors are upset about this, but I can completely understand that, although it's great for newer collectors to get some of the Piston Cut racers that have become a little rare nowadays, like Toe Cap or Trunk Fresh, or some other Piston Cut racers that you just haven't been able to acquire yet. Here's how he looks with the rest of the Shiny Wax team. Very, very nice. I love it. Very happy about this. I hope I can get the others soon. It's just a white background on the back there. And that's all for my review of the Movie Moment Shiny Wax. Let me know in the comment section below if you'll be buying any of these. What do you guys think of them? Some of you probably will pass these up because you already have the racer. And a dollar more for a plastic accessory. It's just not really what you guys want to do right now. I completely understand that. For me though, I'm a collect them all type of guy. So that's all for my review of Darren Leadfoot with Pit Stop Barrier. I hope you all enjoyed and thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys on Thursday for a review of Off-Road Mather. See you guys then. Bye now. So that's all for my review of the Movie Moments Darren Leadfoot with Pit Stop Barrier. Sorry guys.